Hi there, I'm very quickly going to demonstrate the use of our Arduino with Unity using just some of the sample projects. So we have a free plugin for Unity that allows our Unity programs to communicate with the Arduino and it's called Ardity. You can find it on the Arduino App Store. There's a download um, and there are links also to our website where there's support and some sample scripts tell you to get started. There are other Arduino Unity packages, some are a bit more powerful, uh, but this is a nice free one and so it doesn't cost anything and will get you the basics of communication and scripting up and running. If we go to the Ardity website, there are notes on how to use it, some basic instructions, it's not particularly complicated. When you've installed the package and added it to your project, you need to add the serial controller script to a game object, that's the basics. And there is some sample code for Arduino just to test that this works. So this sample code needs to be loaded onto the Arduino. So we can use Arduino create, which we saw in a previous video, enter the script there, and then verify it and upload it to our Arduino. And I've already done that. So we can see here, Sketch has already been uploaded. So that's already uploaded onto my Arduino. I've not made any changes to it at all. And so let's go back to Unity. So here we are in Unity and it's a very basic project. If I look at the scene, I've not actually done anything. I have just added a game object. I've called it Serial Controller and I've added the serial controller script to it. So we can also have a look at the scripts. And I think I may have, oh yeah, there's a custom delimiter. So there's some other standard scripts that come as part of this. The serial controller script uh, was written uh, by Daniel, by the author of the Ardity. We can view this and see this sort of sample program in Visual Studio. So here is the serial controller and this all kind of worked by default. I didn't really need to make any changes. You might need to update the serial port which is used to communicate with the Arduino. You can double check this in Arduino Create to check which port it's using. Um, most of these settings you shouldn't really need to play around with or change anything and it's basically it's this script will allow you to script send send messages backwards and forwards and i have this script here the sample user polling so this is a sample program that's going to run in this unity project so this is actually going to be the one that's going to do things specific to my program so the serial controller script is the standard script for sending messages backwards and forwards and we generally don't need to change that at all but what are the messages you're going to be sending to the Arduino well that will depend on your particular game or your particular project what messages does Arduino need to send back again that will depend on your particular project this is a nice example so it's very very simple um, and all this is going to do is on each update it's going to check have you pressed the A key or the Z key and if you press one of those keys, it's going to send that letter. So it's just going to send that one character, basically that one letter, to the Arduino. And then it will also listen for any messages coming back from the Arduino. So this is the bit here that's going to just connect to the Arduino, listen for messages. And then if it does receive a message, it's going to output the message in the debug log. So it's not doing very much. So let's have a look again at the Arduino program that we've used as our sample. So this is the Arduino program. This is the entirety of the program. It's not very long, 29 lines, including comments. So it's quite a short program. And the key thing here is it's going to send a message every two seconds just to say Arduino's alive. This is useful just to remind us that the Arduino is still working. So every two seconds it'll send an Arduino's alive message back to Unity. And when it receives an A, so using a serial read, so it's listening to the connection that it's got with the PC. Anytime it receives a message, if it receives the letter A, it's going to send this message back. 
So it's going to print this on the serial connection. So serial connection is the name it's got for the USB connection to the PC. And if it receives the letter Z, it's going to print on the USB connection back to the PC. That's the last letter of the, I don't know why, this is just a sample of these instead of alphabets called it that. Abicadarium. So you think that's funny. So let's just go to Unity and actually run this project now. So project is running, I've entered play mode. There is nothing to see here, but down here we can see at the bottom of the window it's recording Arduino is alive message arrives. And I can press on my keyboard, I can press the A key. And briefly it showed the message arrived there that it detected the first letter. If I press the Z key, and it, you know, it does display the message quite briefly because it's sending that Arduino is alive message again every two seconds still. So sometimes this might flash quite quickly on and off. And if I press other keys, nothing is happening. Now again, remember that message. So sending A and then that message is arriving. So I can actually leave this running and I can demonstrate that actually these messages are coming from the Arduino and it's the, it's the program running on the Arduino that's making this difference. And I can demonstrate that here. So I can change this and say, actually, let's stop being silly. Let's just call it the alphabet. And I can verify this. And then I can upload it to my Arduino. Oops. That might be because the U Unity program is running. So actually, it looks like I will have to stop Unity for this. OK, so let's stop Unity. And come back and upload it now. Okay, so Unity had control of the USB, so it wouldn't upload. Now that I've stopped Unity, I've got control again. So let's run Unity now. It's got message that Arduino is alive. It's come back again. I press A, it says alphabet. So I've changed the messages coming back from the Arduino. So I can send communication from Arduino to Unity and vice versa. That's all we'll do in this very first step is make sure that we can get that to work. That's all for now. We'll be doing more interesting things soon.